Well, this could be the new future of travel. That's not just an airplane you're looking at. It's also a flying car. A Prineville company created it and says within a couple of years, these could hit the street and the tarmac. Devin Haskins is here in studio this morning. You talked to the company CEO and how cool is this? A oh. flying car. Oh, very cool. It reminds me of, you know, that old Jetsons cartoon. You get George Jetson <laughs> flying in his car. Uh, you know, it's something I always thought I dreamed of, never saw as a reality. Well, the company behind this flying car says they've been working on its design for 15 years. Imagine you open up your garage door and drive out in this two seater car. You turn down your driveway and head out with this kind of vehicle. You never stop. That's Samson Sky CEO Sam Bosfield and designer of this vehicle that he calls Switchblade. And the name makes sense because within three minutes, you can switch the car into flying mode. The wings and tail unfold like a switchblade. We've set it up so that it's exactly the same as a regular aircraft when you're flying or as a car when you're driving. At an airfield in Moses Lake, Washington, the switchblade was put to the ultimate test. Would it fly? It had already been taken off the ground on short touch and goes, but never this long and high up in the air. Yes, this one we called our first flight because we took off from the airport, uh, went up 500 feet off the ground, and then flew what's called a pattern. It's a circle around to where you, you, you leave the runway, you circle around, and you come back in to land on that same runway. It stayed in the air for six minutes before touching back down. Bosefield watching from the ground as his 15-year invention soared through the air one day looking to be in the pilot seat himself. Absolutely, as soon as I can. Uh, it looked like a blast to fly. I, I've dreamed of it. I've flown it in our simulator over and over and over again, hundreds of hours practically. Uh, I feel like I know this thing inside and out, so I'm, I'm very excited. Flying cars aren't exactly a new invention. There have been plenty of prototypes before this one. Bosefield says his design is different, positioning the seats side by side instead of a single or tandem configuration. The switchblade is a combination of three features that no other flying car in history has ever had. Now, the first is it's a true flying car, drives and flies. The second is that it's high performance in both modes. And the third is that it's practical for everyday use. And demand for the switchblade is taking off. More than 2,300 reservations have come in from all 50 states and across more than 50 countries. All right, so the answer to the question I'm sure everybody is asking, how much? Well, the starting price, they say, just a, a cool $170,000. Oh, that's Ta -da. all? That's all. It's your going away <laughs> present. I'm going to get it for you. Oh, thank you, Devin. I'm going to hold you to that.